there's actually, uh, of course, there's a huge problem with uh, contaminants as well. Along with contamination, and I often see this hand in hand, you know, we, contamination is so common as well, it's hard to say which is more, but very often I'll see a, a bearing come back, it's contaminated and has fretting corrosion. And the other thing is fretting corrosion can actually be a source of contamination because fretting corrosion is actually, what is it? It's nothing more than basically rust and the rust is getting into the system and that's going to actually contaminate the bearing. Um, okay, so here again, centrifugal expansion. How much do you need? Um, you will probably need quite a bit if you're running at a million to two million uh, DN or higher. Most people might fit the inner ring maybe one to two tenths tight. That's a standard catalog fit. That's not enough for a lot of applications. You need um, again, here, ring growth, you'll see at 16 to 20,000 RPM, 10 to 15 or even more microns. That means you need to fit 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 8 tenths, maybe even tighter. So again, it's very dependent on exactly what you're doing. Here again, a very, very simplified diagram. What happens, <clears throat> not only does the, the inner ring expand, but also the balls are pressing against the outer race, so you're basically unloading the inner race and loading, you're creating additional load onto the outer race. And this creates some interesting kinematics with the balls. Very interesting, in fact, because the ball gets kind of confused, I always say. Um, what happens when, when the, on the right-hand picture at speed, the left-hand picture is statically. You'll notice the lines of contact, that's where the contact angle is, the, you know, out of the box or bench. When it's actually running at full speed, you notice the inner ring uh, arrow there is much higher. The outer ring goes much lower or towards the middle. So what that's doing is, in effect, um, making, making the ball want to tend to roll on the outer race, and it's, it's going to make the ball want to spin on the inner race. And that creates, um, well, we actually measure that uh, analytically. Uh, we calculate it and, and call that the spin roll ratio, and that we, that we use to gauge you know, is this going to work or not? That's just one of the things that we look at. 